The Blue Beetle armor is an alien artifact, or rather an alien weapon, and it is one of the most powerful weapons in the universe, granting the wearer a set of armor that has truly amazing abilities, and we are going to go over all of them. First, let me say that the armor itself is sentient and it has a type of artificial intelligence, which is named Kajida, and it talks to Jaime Reyes in his head, though no one else can hear it, or at least understand his words, as in some versions they do have a beeping noise being made by the scarab armor when he talks, but only Blue Beetle understands what these beeps mean. And the scarab was created by the alien species the Reach, but we'll get into that a bit more in a minute. Now, the armor itself has nanotechnology, so even though it's actually a scarab, which is a small device that latches onto the user's spine, it can then expand itself into armor to match pretty much any body type in the universe. It can even adapt to a Martian shape-shifting, so this could actually be worn not just by humans, but by any alien in the universe. Now, naturally, the armor enhances the wearer's strength, though how much strength has varied greatly over the years but it is safe to say that he does have super strength whilst in the armor, and of course also provides protection, it is armor after all. And the metal itself is very durable, standing up to most physical attacks and quite a lot of superpowers, including laser blasts and explosions. And even when it is actually damaged, it auto repairs itself almost instantly. It also has a kind of Hulkbuster mode that it rarely activates, where it becomes bigger, denser and stronger. Though, like I say, this is rarely used and not one of the everyday powers. More commonly, the users morph their arms into swords or pincers, sometimes maces, or hammers for that matter, and essentially the armor can reform itself into any basic weapon design that uses blunt force. The arms can also be formed into sound-based weapons that fire concentrated sonic blasts that can deal quite a lot of damage. The arms can also morph to fire metal bolts, that are mainly used to restrain targets rather than as weapons, and they can also turn into plasma blasters for when the user wants to do the most damage. But when they really want to let loose, the center of the chest morphs with the arms into an extremely powerful plasma blaster, though it can also fire other types of energy blasts that aren't quite defined what exactly they are. Basically, the armor can fire whatever type of energy it needs to for the storyline, though generally speaking, it fires sonic blasts and plasma blasts and the pincers on the scarab's back can also shoot lasers as well. And it's not always up to Blue Beetle when these will go off, as the suit is programmed to defend him. So if he doesn't react fast enough to an attack, the scarab will react instead. Sometimes even when Blue Beetle doesn't want it to and is actually trying to stop it. He frequently struggles with the AI wanting to attack everyone around them and him trying to stop it, especially stopping it from using lethal measures, as this scarab is very violent. And the scarab can also take full control of the user's body if it wants to, which in some cases can be useful, such as when Blue Beetle is too tired or drained to fight. The armor can then take over, and to be quite frankly, it actually fights a lot better than Jaime Reyes does. He is a kid after all who doesn't know much about fighting or the armor, whereas the scarab is thousands of years old and is programmed to fight and knows every single one of its abilities, so naturally it would be better at fighting but we'll get more into the armor taking over in a minute. Now, not all of the abilities are weapons. As I said, the suit also self-repairs itself when it is damaged, though it takes a lot of force to damage it in the first place. But it can also protect the user's body with nanotech as well, healing Jaime's wounds. Not to the Wolverine level of healing power, but it can heal most wounds and burns pretty well, and he certainly heals a lot faster than a normal human would. And the Scarab's nanotech also protects Jaime from infections and attacks from within, using nanorobots to attack foreign invaders. And this nano defense also stops the Scarab from being able to be removed, at least not without killing its host. As any attack on the Scarab will be met with deadly force, so not only will it defend itself if it's trying to be removed from Jaime's body, but it would also self-heal itself almost instantly. It's also implied here and there that it can actually influence the host genetics to make them grow taller and stronger. Though this isn't always the case in all the different versions of the character, and it hasn't really been put down as one of its, oh yes, it has this powers, it's more one of those that they just sort of hint at here and there. And the suit's nanotech is able to create almost anything that the user can think of, including a sword or little computers. It's basically a 3D printer that can create almost anything. Now, its full abilities and what it can create have never really been fully explored, but it seems to have no limits to what it can make, 
and there appears to be no limit to its energy source as well. It simply never runs out of energy. And the scarab can not only output colossal amounts of energy, but is also thousands of years old and still has not run out of power. Like I said, it seems to be virtually unlimited. Although that being said, it is also able to absorb energy. So maybe it is constantly absorbing more and more power from the world around it and storing it away for later use. It can also connect and hack into almost any computer on any planet, and it can auto-translate pretty much any language in the universe, including all the ones on Earth, like Japanese. Meaning Blue Beetle can understand any other language, and he can also speak any other language. This is because the Scarab not only auto-translates the words that he is hearing, but he also auto-translates the words that he is saying. The Scarab also has pretty much any sci-fi type of scan that you can think of. It's constantly scanning the environment around itself for threats, and it can detect energy sources or the direction of sound waves, or even a person's heart rate. Basically, if you can think of a way of scanning something, then this scarab is able to do it. It can also allow Jaime Reyes to see on different spectrums, in order to help him understand what is happening around him, along with visual data that he can just read off the projected screens on his eyes. And the scarab can scan and analyze pretty much any combat scenario there is, and provide the user with tactical advice in real time. So he can scan the opponents and figure out their weaknesses and offer advice on how best to defeat them. For example, when facing a Kryptonian, it can actually radiate kryptonite radiation to take them down. So its weapons are extremely versatile and adaptable for each opponent that it faces, such as when facing a fighter with super speed. The Scarab is able to process their movements super fast so that it can track down their running path and predict where they're going to be, and then attack them, not where they are, but where they're going to be, so that they can take the speedsters down. And of course, the suit allows for flight, and the wings can also act as shields when needed. Now, there are two basic types of flight. There's one with just the wings, where it just flies around at a reasonable speed, but when Blue Beetle needs to go faster, he has a jetpack booster and this even lets him fly into orbit, which means that he can go as fast as escape velocity, which is around 33 times the speed of sound, or Mach 33. So the Scarab can go pretty damn fast when it wants to, and naturally the armor protects from the extreme colds and radiations that exist in space, and it also manufactures oxygen so that Jaime Reyes is able to breathe, otherwise going into space would kill him in no time. And the Scarab can also get rid of any waste materials that Jaime Reyes' bodies produces. I think you know the ones I'm talking about. Now, of course, the armor is able to fly in space, but it also has the capability to generate wormholes that allow Blue Beetle to travel vast distances in an instant. Basically, he can fly pretty much anywhere in the galaxy in just a few seconds thanks to this ability. And the energy source that the Scarab has can actually be hooked up and shared to other machines seemingly without affecting the amount of energy the suit itself has. So again, its power source seems to be virtually limitless. So the Scarab has a lot of weapons and it is extremely versatile and adaptable to almost any situation, meaning it could create new weapons and defenses as needed. And the Scarab itself has a kind of serial killer personality. It immediately goes for the most lethal and deadly course of action for any situation and Jaime really has to rein it in quite a lot so that it does not go on a killing spree constantly, as it perceives any threat as a deadly threat, and it will kill in an instant if it thinks that Jaime's life is in danger, or even if someone gets angry around Jaime. And while in certain situations the Scarab will just take over if it really disagrees with Jaime Reyes' decisions, it generally does listen to his advice and let him stay in control but still, it will strike out on its own against others if it thinks there is danger to its host. And the Scarab can also get very panicky when it comes face to face with the Green Lantern. This is because the alien species that made it, the Reach, and the Green Lanterns long ago had a war, and they still both very much view each other as enemies. And the Scarab has actually attacked Green Lanterns before in the heat of the moment, before Jaime has been able to get control back, and these attacks were usually unprovoked, although not always to be fair. Now the armor is incredibly tough, and it really only has one major weakness, and that is magic, like pretty much everything else in the universe. But other than that, it doesn't really have any particular type of weakness, it's just vulnerable to the standard forms of extreme force. And the only real weakness is that the weapon was made by the alien species The Reach, and the AI is programmed to find a random person, give them powers, and make them a local hero so the people trust them. 
and then the AI takes over control of the host's body and acts towards the Reach's plans for conquest. It's an insidious way of invading a planet. The idea is to get people to trust the Blue Beetle hero, and then the people will listen when he says that the Reach should be invited to the planet and that they're friendly. And then the Reach slowly take over. However, as I have said, the Scarab is vulnerable to magic, and there is a spell that can cleanse the Scarab of the Reach's control. Now, in some continuities, the Scarab just takes over and does the evil plan of the Reach. In others, it has already been cleansed, so Blue Beetle is free of alien control. But if the Reach manage to reset it, then it will once again take over control of the host, and the good guys have to cast a spell on the Scarab to cleanse it again. Though it all depends on the continuity. But one thing is constant. The Scarab is designed to take over the host, but it can be reprogrammed using magic. And there's probably some other means of reprogramming it, but magic is the one that people usually use. And when the Scarab has free will, it normally forms a partnership with its host, giving the host the freedom to use the armor as they see fit. Now, though I said it does just latch onto a random person, it isn't actually quite random. You see, the Scarab is actually quite particular about who it will connect to. Or at least it is in the comics when it wouldn't connect with Ted Cord. But in other continuities, it does just latch onto anyone it comes into contact with, more or less. And that is all of the powers of the Blue Beetle Scarab. Although, as I said, it does adapt its weapons as needed for a fight or obstacle or opponent. So it will no doubt have new abilities in the future as they are required. And I've probably missed some one-off in the comics where it does something special. So if you know of something that I have missed, then please let us know in the comments. Along with whether you would prefer the Green Lantern Ring or the Blue Beetle Scarab. Personally, I prefer the Scarab so long as it's free of the reach as it would allow for more freedom than the ring does, because you don't have to go and be a space cop at the end of the day. And of course, it doesn't need to be constantly recharged, so you don't have to worry about losing power at a critical moment. But that's my thoughts on the subjects. Please let us know what yours are in the comments. And I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have some merchandise available on our store, and to say thanks to all of you who have donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, Share, like, and comment.